want to show you a move that I learned a couple of months ago um, and it helps to work your inner thighs and it's a, it's a challenging move um, but it's, it's effective. Um, I also want to say something about these activity breaks. Um, I went out for a walk this afternoon and just to walk around the block. That's an activity break for me. And there was a lady out there walking her dogs and I've I've had people tell me this often, that they get their dogs because they, they have pets because it encourages them to take walks. So as this woman was saying today, the being around the animals is good for her soul and taking them for a walk is good for her heart. And that's absolutely true. Um, for me, the activity breaks that I take though are good for my brain. So I encourage you to not sit at your desk for more than an hour at a time and to trust that it really will make you more productive and improve the quality of your work if you allow yourself to take a break. Of course it's good for your heart, but it's really good for your brain to do this um, and avoid sedentary behavior like that, <clears throat> prolonged sedentary behavior. So here's one thing that you can do. I'm using a weight, this is a five pound weight. You can do it without weights, but I think it's actually harder. Um, <clears throat> you're gonna be using a paper plate as well, paper plate. And you can do this on the floor or the carpet. <clears throat> the thing to remember is that the weight is going to be in the same hand as the foot is on the plate. <laughs> so I have, if you're facing me, that will be your left. But this is my right foot on the plate. I have the weight in my right hand. I'm going to keep my right leg straight and slide it out while I lower and bend the left leg and try to touch the weight to the floor. So I'll demonstrate. I'm sliding out, see? And I'm touching the floor with the weight. And now when I pull back up, I'm gonna engage all of my core, but especially these be adductors, or some people say adductor. I'm gonna use my adductors to pull myself back in. It engages the whole core. So you can start off by doing I don't know, six is plenty. They're quite challenging. Um, so, down, pull up. Two, pull up. Three, pull up. Four, pull up. It's working in my glute on the other leg too. Five, and up, and six, and up. And you're gonna watch this, the bending leg, is a sort of the standing leg, to make sure that your knee doesn't do anything crazy and go over your toe in a funky, a funky sort of fashion. So now I've switched, I've got my other leg on the plate, so I wanna switch the weight as well. Slide it over a little bit so I have room. So remember, oh, this is getting my heart rate up. The foot on the plate, the leg, the plate leg, stays straight. So, out, slide it out, and pull it in. And I don't think you should put your hand on your thigh. Um, out, pull in, that was two, three, and in. I think it's good also to look forward. Four, and in. Now I feel like I should be a speed skater. Five, and in, and six, and in. I felt it on this one, so it was tighter for me. So, I've learned several more big leg adductor glute hamstring quad moves in the last couple of months. Um, so I'll try to bring them to you. Um, also, I'm taking a step aerobics class and she's doing some really, really nice work with the lower body. And I think the lower body is a good thing to approach when you're taking your activity breaks because that'll get your heart rate going too. <clears throat> Meaning, if you just stood up to say work your triceps like this, that's a nice, fine, small movement, but it's not really gonna engage blood flow and get your heart going. So. When you're getting up from your desk, do things like, you know, move around, squat, try this activity out, work up to 10 reps, and then one set, two set, three set, that sort of thing. Um, okay. I hope uh, you give that a try. You do like it.